Hi guys, in this video, in the next few videos, I'm going to be dealing with the issue of uh, charts in Excel. And uh, the first question is, why do we need charts? Well, uh, charts make reading numbers much easier. They give you a better overview. Because if I look at the data right now, and, and it is uh, actually very small data sets that we have here. In real life, you would have much bigger data sets. And uh, reading the situation out of pure data is very difficult. That's where, that's where charts come in. And if you look here, I've got like uh, the same data, but now I've got charts. And you can see here, uh, based on the charts, that you know I can very easily now compare turnover and expenditure for each company. I can see, for instance, that, that these two companies have pretty good ratios uh, of turnover uh, versus expenditure, whereas this one is you know, it's not bad, it's bad because the expenditures are more than, um, than, the, than the turnover. Uh, this one is okay and so on. So the chart makes that situation, I can instantly see the situation. Whereas here from the data, especially if I've got loads of data, like loads of rows, it becomes very difficult to, to, to get a, a quick uh, uh, oversight or overview of the whole situation. Same thing here. Uh, this is some sort of company which has revenue. Uh, very difficult to read the situation here. Whereas here in the, in the, in the chart, I can easily see that yeah, it's going up and then down steeply, then up again steeply, then down steeply. You see, and that's very easy to see instantly in such a chart. And here in this chart, one can see, uh, let's assume that all these companies belong to one organization or to one group. You can see here the, the, the percentage of profits from each of these individual companies to the whole group. And that's, that's, that's where charts come in. They, 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 they give instant an instant overview, an instant clarity to a, to, a, to a data situation. And we got actually, there are like three main uh, chart types. You've got the columns, and columns are ideal when you compare various objects. For instance here, these companies have got like nothing, no relation between, they're individual companies, there's nothing, they're not connected to each other. Yeah, so they're individual, independent companies, and here with the with the column di with the column chart, I can basically compare the performance of each of these companies. In in in, in such a chart uh, versus each other, but also I can compare the revenue, uh, the turnover, and the expenditure of each individual company. The line diagram is ideal for development of something. For instance, here we're dealing with one individual company and we're seeing the chart shows the development of this company's revenue uh, and, and there the line diagram uh, the line chart is ideal so uh, you, you also see that when you see like um, development of stock prices it's also line diagram because uh, line chart uh, because uh, uh, the line chart shows development much better than uh, a, a, a column uh, chart the, the circle chart uh, or the pie chart uh, is basically uh, uh, for one thing here and that is it is what it shows you it is basically the percentage of each individual uh, object to the to the whole yeah so we got one whole thing in this case let's say a, 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 a group owning all these companies and we want to see the the percentage of the individual companies to the whole yeah, you see often you see pie charts in um, elections when you wanna when when they show how much percentage a certain party has in a certain parliament. So that's where uh, pie charts come in. Right. So now we come to the next question: How do we create charts? Well, first of all, I'm going to show you how to delete charts. Basically, you, you click them and you press your delete button. Press delete button. Select and press delete button. Right, let's create a chart. Let's say somebody tells me, create a chart of turnover. Okay, well, natural instinct is, let me just select turnover. But that is wrong. I'm gonna show why. Let's say I, I select turnover. I wanna create a chart. I go to insert. And now I pick the chart I need. Uh, let, let's pick column. So I just pick a, 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 a subtype of column. And there we are. I got my column. Now the problem with that chart is, who's who? Who's number four? 
I don't know. If I if I send or print that chart without that table, nobody would know who, who's five. No idea. Who's three? I don't know. You see? So that's why whenever you're creating a chart, you have to select at least two columns. Because one of them columns is gonna be the basically the the, the description for each uh, uh, number. So basically we have in this case we have to select company always. So we have if somebody says I need a I need a I need a chart of the turnover, right? Company gets selected anyways and then turnover. And then I go to insert and column and column and there we go. And now I've got a much better uh, chart here because now I can see which company or, or, or which column belongs to which company. And the nice thing about charts is that once you change your data, the chart changes as well. So let's say I change company name, bingo, okay? Change, and if I change the numbers, chart changes automatically, okay? So that's the beauty of charts. Right, now that's turnover and you have here a thing called legend. Well, this legend is basically only necessary if you've got multiple columns for each company. We only have here, we're all the same thing, it's all turnover. I don't need that legend telling me that, so I just click on it and delete it. Okay? Now, where do we need a legend? Well, when we have multiple columns for each company. That means, let me delete that. Let's say somebody needs turnover and expenditure for each company, all right? Then I just select company again, and turnover and expenditure. And then I go into insert, column, and there we go. Now here, the legend, and by the way, if I wanna reposition a, a chart, I just click and just drag it. If I wanna resize it, I just go to any corner or any side, and just uh, to any corner, and I just resize it, and there we go. Here, I need a legend, because I need to know who's blue and who's red. So there, a legend is necessary. If you don't, and because here, we got, for each company, we got like two columns. What the blue ones are the turnovers, the red ones are the expenditures, right? So in this, in, in this case, we need a legend. And uh, and don't forget, whenever you're creating a diagram, don't forget to select the companies as well because we need them down here. Okay, now comes the next question. Let me delete that. Somebody tells me I need a chart of the profits. Okay, now my problem is how do I, how can I select the company and the profits without selecting these guys? Well, there's one way to do it, and that is you select company, now you press and hold press the control button on your so what I do, I just select the companies, press control, uh, hold control press, and now I select the profits. And now you see, I can select non-adjacent columns, and then the rest is easy, insert, columns, and there we go. Okay, just let me repeat that again. If you have to select non-adjacent columns to create, a uh, to create a chart, what you do, you just select one, then press Control and hold it pressed, and then select the second column, and then you go Insert, Column, and there you go. Okay, and there we have the profits. Right, let's go into line the, the uh, charts, and let's start here. Now here, I select this, I don't need the revenue, and I go to Insert, and this time I pick Line, and pick any one, let's say this one. And here I got a small problem. Basically, uh, years, I've got like two lines. One is the revenue down here, and one is the years. But you know what? I don't need the years in here. I need the years down here. And the problem is that Excel thinks that years, let me first clear something up. Each, each uh, data set in the, in the, in the chart is called a series. So this is one series, this is a second series, okay? And Excel thinks that the years are just another series which belong in the chart itself, but they're not. They're like the labels for the axis for the axis down here. 
there are multiple ways to solve this problem. But the fastest and easiest way to do that is basically, before you do the chart, just remove the header of that. And now select again and insert, go line. And now you got exactly what you need. Why does that work? Because by removing that header, now Excel sees, oh, wait a minute, this column is different than this one because it's got no header. So this is not a further series to be included in the chart, but or is the, is the, are the labels for the axis down here. See? So that's what you got to do. There are another, in, in a further video, I'm going to show another way to, 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 to solve this problem. But the fastest and easiest way, the easiest to remember is basically when you, got some, when you have in your first column, when you have numbers in your first column, just remove the header and then uh, build, your, uh, build, your, build your chart. We didn't have this problem here because the first column didn't include numbers. It had text. But we have this problem here because our first column had numbers. And now, after the chart is finished, I just can, I just write years in and that's it, okay? So basically, when you have your first column as numbers, just remove the header, build your uh, chart, and then afterwards, bring back the header. And that's it. And that's a, a, a line chart. Now let's do a, a pie chart. And a pie chart is, let's do a pie chart of the expenditures. I just select company, press control, hold it pressed, and I go to expenditures. And then insert, pie, let me pick, let me pick this guy, and there we go. And you see the pie chart shows you the percentage of expenditures of each individual company to the whole. And that's now a quick introduction to charts. With that, you can easily create the charts you need. And in further videos, I'm going to go more into detail in each of these charts and the way you can change and edit and, and format your charts. I'm going to get in more detail. But basically, with this video, you can easily create and delete uh, your charts.